Talk about getting off to a fast start like that, which is what you wanted to do and what that meant to you guys, especially psychologically. That's what we've been preparing, preparing for all month. And, um, you know, just little things of just, you know, curfew being 11, 12 o'clock every night. You know, we're focused on this game the entire time. You know, we're having, we was having a great time, but, you know, we wanted to practice, you know, just determined to come out and, uh, you know, play our butts off, and which what I think we did. Coach said you had that look in your eye. Talk about that and how badly you really wanted to take it to the Hawkeyes today. I just, we, we finally made it, and, uh, you know, we made it this far, and there's definitely no going back. You know, you have to get the W. So I just wanted to give these seniors just the best last, last game they could have, and, uh, you know, I think, I think we did that. It's almost like you had a month's worth of, I guess frustration built up the way you were running hard in the first quarter. If you could say that, I was just, you know, offensive line did a great job. You know, receivers did a great job blocking downfield. So, you know, they gave me great opportunities. How nice was it to have that month of rest? Did you feel a heck of a lot better? Oh, it was that? great. You know, it's season, you know, it's every it's everyday thing. You know, you really get no time off. So just to get a month kind of working out, uh, getting back in there, getting your body back right, felt great. Hey, Jalen, you know, does this point kind of what you had envisioned? I mean, you had good games this year, but is this what you had envisioned when, when we sit over there in the weight room over there at Beach, you know, when you, the day you committed, just the type of play by the entire team. Mm -hmm. It it really is, you know. I, you know, I I really expected coming in, you know, just you know the team to work hard, in which we I mean the team has worked tremendously hard this entire season, and just coming in here, you know, being per persevered through the whole season, you know, finally get to a bowl game, and then coming out and putting on a performance like that, you know, team team's been resilient all season, and did great. How much better can you get? Can you oh, we could definitely. Uh, no, def you, you. Me? Yeah. Um, uh, we'll see. And, you know, I need to put on a little bit of weight and, uh, you know, just running back qualities. Just, you know, getting in and out of my cuts, you know, using my offhand, little stuff. Is there a reason you didn't play late other than the game was way out of hand? Hmm, yeah, base, that, that was basically it. Did you know you were three yards away from a career high? <laughs> I didn't. No, I didn't. I just, you know, we finally got the W. I was like, huh. So. You know, coach wasn't really making a big deal about it. What did you say to Marlon after he came off the field after? He oh, I just, numbers? I just said, dude, I love you. It's crazy. This is our last game together. You know, it just feels like we're just. This is the beginning of us, and you know, it's the end at the same time. You know, he's been a great mentor towards me this entire season, and uh, you know, I'm really gonna miss him. What did you think of his touchdown pass? <laughs> oh, he can throw. He's an athlete. I'm telling you, it's it's crazy. He still does not have better hands than me, though. He'll he'll try to tell you that. Kevin, did you what realize like? What was it like seeing Vic, one of your boys, score his first touchdown? Oh, that was awesome. You know, I ran over to him, told him I loved him. You know, you know, we've had that play up, you know, for a minute. So we finally got to ex execute that. And um, just seeing, you know, both my boys, you know, be successful, that was awesome. Could you tell that your pace and physicality was really wearing on them? Um, not just mine. I mean, just the whole offense. You know, we were moving tr tremendously fast, uh, you know, throughout the entire game. And I, that, that did wear on them. What did that tempo kind of open up? It seemed like you guys sort of stayed on the edges early and then went up the middle as you started to wear them down. Was that kind of part of the plan that that was going to be there if you got the tempo going? Exactly. Coach Shake did a great job drawing us some plays, you know, to kind of win them down. And, um, you know, he knew that we were in better shape than them. And uh, I think it kind of showed showed that. Were you motivated at all? There have been some big games with freshman running backs this bowl season. Were you watching guys and seeing what they were doing? Were you motivated yeah, by that at all? Yeah, I saw, I saw some, uh, some, big, uh, some big games by some freshmen. You know, I just wanted to show my part, too. Did you watch Chubb and Fournette? Obviously, those are kind of the. Two oh yeah, they're they're great running backs. You think how to keep an eye on them all season? Mm -hmm. oh, I mean, I've I've seen what they've done. You know, coaches told me a little bit about them, but you know, I really don't pay too much attention to that just because I'm focused on my own, my own, uh, my own stats and my own games to win and stuff like that. What does this win? To the way it went down. What does it say to the rest of the country about the future of Tennessee football? Well, it shows that we're here to compete and that you better watch out for us because we're <laughs> we're coming for real. Did you realize that first big run you had took out? I had no idea, and then uh, Devon actually told me on the sounds like you did that. I was like, really? <laughs> no clue. So, was it nice to have a big gain like that? I knew you didn't score on that one, but is that kind of when you have one like that so early? Does that kind of give you a good feel? Coach Jones said you had a, that look in your eye. What does that? What does he mean by that? Uh, just determination, really, and that. I mean, the whole team had that. You know, we weren't we weren't going out of this game without a win. So, talk about Josh Dobbs and, and how he's sort of led you guys down the stretch and then this great game today as well. No, I'm not going to talk about what he does on the field because it's obvious. I mean, he's just a great guy off the field. You know, everybody really looks up to him. And, um, you know, just he comes, he's, re he's really cool with everybody. And, you know, I respect that man a lot. Is that it, guys? Right, what, uh, how, how much did you need this month, I guess, to get healthy? I mean, obviously, you didn't play in the end of that Vanderbilt game. Mm -hmm. What was kind of the process for you just kind of coming back and getting back to 100% to be ready for this game? Oh, just getting in the weight room. Um, 
doing a lot of drills, you know, doing a lot of drills that you do during spring and in camp, stuff that you really can't do much in the season just because it'll tire you out. So um, just all that combined. Jen, this was, a, I guess, a first-time experience for a lot of you guys, this bowl experience. But I guess what does it show about this, this group that even though that was you know, it's new to all you guys, you guys came out and really kind of jumped on them and, and really you know, put it away early. Exactly. Even though it was new, you know, we were um, – we were determined and uh, we persevered, and you know I think we came out and we played a g good game today. You talked about this this, this program coming on. I guess what's do you guys have kind of a specific goal for next year, or is it just you know just wanting to build off this? Is there anything kind of specific uh, you, guys you definitely need to end on something like this just to show the country what you're about and have a little momentum swinging the next uh, next year. That's it, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Sean.